Hello everybody and welcome back to SCP-3008 Learn Survivor. Now, a while ago there was a small update, well when I say small, it's quite substantial actually. Um, they have added a couple niceties to the uh, stuff that spawns in SCP-3008 this time. We're going to be giving that a quick check out. So, it, the updates are slower and the game seems to be stable now. Hopefully, like I said last time, we might actually be able to do something substantial instead of just restarting every time there's an update. I would tell you the news, but it's still a work in progress. Uh, that hasn't been updated yet. But the gist of it, there are now showrooms, uh, as you probably read from the title. So we will be checking these out. There is only one variety of showroom at the moment, but, you know, it's taking steps towards looking like an actual IKEA. Showrooms being one of the uh, main complaints I had last time. Okay, so we're just going to be playing it on the normal difficulty. We're going to have a smaller map, because having a huge map literally benefits me in no way whatsoever. And we're just going to do furniture without, uh, walls without furniture, sorry. Okay, we've put the special secret code seed in, and we're going to crack on. Let's go! Now, before this video gets too far in, I've got a special version of, uh, well, it's not really tea time with Forge, it's um, sponsorship with Forge. Now, I know this isn't quite tea time with Forge, but it's going to help pay for more tea. So here we go. Now recently, I've started playing Monster Legends, and I'll tell you what, it's a cracking game. I know many of you probably already play it, but for ones who haven't played it yet, what are you waiting for? Monster Legends is a free to play game available on iOS and Android. So far, I have collected these different monsters. It's very simple. First, you can breed two different species to create a new type of monster. There are different monster collections, so I can try to complete them all. I'm still quite far from collecting everything, but I'm getting there. Now, once I have the new baby tiny little monster, I can feed it like I feed myself. It gets bigger, it gains battle abilities and becomes an absolute beast. When my monster is of proper size, well trained and grown, I can take him into battles. Entertaining is an understatement. I can fight in real time against my uh, friends. I love challenging them and proving that I am the best. I've used Facebook Connect so I can play on all my devices easily and find amongst my friends who already play the game so I can tease them and compare my islands and collections against theirs. There are even different PvP modes where I can take my strongest monsters and fight in special dungeons or in the adventure map. I fully encourage you to download the game. Discover by yourself how amazing the world of Monster Legends is. There's a big community of players behind it. And remember, it's free. So go down in the description, follow my link, and get Monster Legends today. Okay, now with that over with, we have loaded into the game, and I can already spy myself a showroom. Right, I have my own... There's two showrooms, that's quite nice. Anyway, what was I going to say? Now, I have my own personal gripe with a couple comments lately. Now, a lot of people have been like, I can't drink Yorkshire tea or mention it because the spiffing Brit has already done it. And it's like, man, can't I just enjoy my own tea just because a larger YouTuber has done it for longer than me? I, I just like my tea, that's all. Yorkshire tea's my favourite. I'll drink Tetley if it just shuts people up every single tea time I forge when I mention it. It's like, bruh, just let me enjoy tea. I know there's not even been tea in this video, but that's only because I need money to buy tea. But anyway, showrooms. They're, um, kind of what you'd expect. Weird little carpeted with furniture showrooms where you could probably live quite easily. There is no extension cord or wall plug inside of them for power. But if you gather enough resources, I reckon you could probably build something quite nice within them. For example, here, there is a plug right there. And you could probably thread it into these, so you can make a nice secure base. Put some traps in it, maybe make it a mob farm, you know. We might try that out if it doesn't go to infinite night time. There's also been a few mods that have been created for this game now. Uh, there's one that I recently spied where it is a health bar mod. So you can now check to see how much health the staff have when you're fighting them, which is quite a nice touch. I'll probably do a separate mod showcase on that in an upcoming video if I can get it to work. Normally the mods are quite easy to do, but yeah, right. Showrooms, there's loads of them. They're all over the goddamn place. They're brilliant for building in. We might try and get on top of them because that's just a goal. We just get on top of things and then that's the video. There's been like CPU performance increases, but I've tried running the game on low-end hardware and it runs like utter garbage, so you need like a decent-ish PC. I know mine's not particularly the best, but it can normally run pretty much everything, but 3008 can only run on medium settings, which is sad. Anyway, enough yabbering, we need to find grub. We have discovered grub. Uh, before we eat that, I am just going to grab a couple more recipes because it's always a good idea 
to get uh, the tasty food perk because it is fantastic. It's 80 XP. However, eating fills you up more, which is hugely beneficial, especially if food reserves are quite hard to find. And we made, oh, a lockpick recipe. I will, I'm determined to find an exit as well. I, I will not clickbait anymore. I will find a way out of this goddamn hellhole. All right, come on, big man. So you ain't too tough. Okay, so there's a cafeteria literally right here. So if we can find a showroom, I want to try and make a mob farm trap in it. That kind of might be the idea for this video. An end goal and all that. So if we can find one semi-close. This one looks perfect, actually. That is ideal as fuck. It might even have a power socket somewhere. We're doing this one, so we need to clear this out as much as possible. Should I do a breaking montage? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, this room is now clear. So if I put a staff on the sacrificial table, hopefully some other staff will come inside. There are some stepping around. Let's see what happens. Are you going to be clever and go in? Ah, look at that. Perfect. So we'll unlock some spike recipes and literally just fill this floor in. And that should hopefully stop them from uh, destroying the body and trap them in, basically. Nice, easy way to contain them. And then we can just fill the different rooms, make more... Maybe somehow get them on the roof at some point. You know, it's it's all it's a cracking idea. Anyway, we're about to starve to death, so I'm going to have to put off getting that perk because dying of hunger is bad. But the first night is fine anyway, so there we go. Full. I think there's a second cafeteria over there, so food isn't an issue anyway. So we don't have a spikes recipe yet, so it looks like we're going to be going on a little exploration to find some traps. And as you know, your boy likes traps. Fire axe. What are you? Come on, tell me. Pool Q. Come on, man. I need them recipes that I need, not some garbage. Uh, you now may call me out for missing recipes because I'm actively looking for them. Also, nice fog. Look at that. You see that? That is lovely. Nice transition effect. Hey, there we go. That was easy. I just I was very distracted, admiring the fog. I'm not sure if it'll show up very well in videos because of compression, but there's like fog in each doorway. It looks quite nice. It kind of looks like, uh, you know, when you go into a big walk-in freezer or fridge, if you've ever been in those. A bit like that. It's a bit weird in a hardware department, but whatever. Now, it is a wooden spike recipe, so it doesn't do much damage, but there are obviously perks to increase that. Uh, which one was my one? This one. This is the trap. So now, you... I think we got some wood from destroying some furniture. We do. Uh, wooden spikes. Craft. There we go. Ten, ten wood. A little bit over the top, but... Whatever. Also, this this corpse is having a right jig. Look at him go. Whoa, hey. Oh. And it just disappeared? Fantastic. This better not be a bug, or else I'll be very sad and ruin this entire video's plan. Excuse me. Oh, wow. The that's, um... You're not angry at me, right? Mate, you, you pissed? Oh, yep, you definitely angry. Okay, never mind. Where's my flashlight? There we go. Oh my god, there's, like, a fog effect. Great, this just makes it just impossible to see. Thank you, game. Nice update, bro. Well, I'm not sure it's really what, what they're there. What's worse? This or this? I suppose this is better. I can kind of see what's around me. Ugh, right. Try and stay in a straight path, find a bed, sleep till morning. You know the drill. Hopefully it doesn't stay night time forever like last time. Snooze time. Let's go. Sleepy sleep. Hopefully we don't starve to death in our sleep. Alright. It's close enough to morning. It's 7 o'clock. I'm about to starve to death, so we're going to quickly run back and get to the cafeteria. Oh, I can hear the big angry staff boys, and they're running around somewhere. Yeah, I know the store's closed. I'm just going to get some grub, and I'll bugger off, I promise. All right, hello, cafeteria. Thank you very much. I nearly died. And that was all she had? Okay, fantastic. This isn't fantastic, actually. Okay, right, sleep for the rest of the time. Wait, was it about to turn day? Nope, I don't know. Sleep, please don't be nighttime forever, because I will starve to death. Oh my god, look at that. You ask and you receive. Daytime. Please don't be angry at me still. Why are you still angry at me? I don't care if I was in radius. Piss off. I'm of no threat. And thank the lord, the food has been replenished. And we have enough for... Saturation, tasty food. Damn, that's better. Right, where were we? Ah, yes, of course, we were getting wood to create 
the, the trap, which uh, hopefully the spikes don't despawn again. All right, crafting. Not wooden plank, wooden spikes. Craft. Equip. Please don't disappear again or I'll cry. Fuck, it's broken, they don't work. Noom, you've broken it again. Well, let's put that plan out of the fucking window. Is it just wooden spikes or is anything I make in place just instantly offs itself? Right, I've had the cracking idea. I'm gonna try and find the metal spikes recipe or any other placeable item recipe and see if that disappears because if that does that, then let's be honest, this update's bugger and I have to report it again. Oh, the flashlight, that's quite nice actually. Batteries, light bulbs, wire and metal. Okay, all right, we'll gather all that. We'll try that flashlight out. I wanna see if it's any better than the phone's flashlight because that is trash. Oh man, game's gonna mess me around with not giving me the recipes I want, innit? Bloody silverware. I want metal spikes. I know that they exist. I've had them before. Don't do me dirty like this. I won't be happy. Oh, there we go, metal spikes. Fan bloody tastic. Now, how do you make them? How much do they need? Ten metal. Christ, that's a lot of metal. How much metal do we have? It's four. Right. There is no easy way to get a ton of metal. Well, there is. It's called metal barrels. There's no quick way of getting it unless you have tools that are also made of metal, which is like you need to make an investment. And that's difficult because I, <laughs> I don't have the time to make an investment. Ugh, I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? That's fine. We'll, fi we'll find a place. To we'll, we'll find some barrels. You know, people go on about the IKEA meatballs, and I gotta admit, they're fantastic. But no one ever talks about the IKEA hot dogs. Have you ever had one of them? You know, the cheap, nasty, horrible frankfurters that are like 90% chicken eyelids and 10% you know, pig foreskin. You know, them ones. Delicious. Absolutely amazing, and not just because it's got foreskin in it. Right, barrel time. There's no fire axe conveniently in here. No, I think they removed those a while ago. You know the drill. Breaky, breaky montage. All right, we have the metal we need. Crafting. Hang on a minute, this is meatballs. That was definitely a hot dog when I picked it up. Oh yeah, so it's a meatball sub, that's right, I remember. Because <laughs> that's what they do in Ikea. Okay, metal spikes. Craft. Uh, you know what? We're gonna just gonna try and place this down. If it disappears, it's all fucked. It's all fucked, man. How? What? What code breaks that? Also, the shelves are in the wrong place. They're facing the wrong way. Noom, you. It's fucked, man. Ah, why are traps broken? I'm gonna have to go back to the last non-developer build like this because these these ones never work. There's always something wrong. There's always a fun thing. It's not like you only break something. It sometimes doesn't drop a recipe. It's just a material. It's just. Traps! It's like the main thing of the game and it's broken again. Ugh. Angry. Okay, we've got the last ditch effort, which is the uh, short circuit trap. But, you know what? I guarantee that's not going to work either, to be honest. But it's super easy to make, so who knows? It might work. That disappears as well. Fuck you, game. Fuck off. Well, I have been wandering around for ages. I'm literally looking for a light bulb to complete the torch recipe. But I am yet to be able to find the recipe to make a light bulb. Which sounds really weird because, wait, a light bulb isn't a drop from a lamp, is it? And I'm just being stupid, right? No, they drop glass. Hmm. Why can't you just take a light bulb out of one of the fittings? I'm sure there are plenty of them. See? Look at all these lamps. This is a lot of lamps. But no light bulbs. Ugh. I just want to show stuff off. There's a key here as well. That's nice, but we'll never find the exit because I swear to God, it just never spawns for me. Because if you didn't know, you've got to try and find the door. Now the door does spawn, so the exit does appear, but it spawns randomly and after a f uh, quite a while in game, you got to survive for. Uh, I spoke to the developer about it, so there is an exit. Just good luck fucking getting it because without traps and things, you'll have to become a melee god, especially when loads and loads of staff spawn after like a week. It's like unbearable. Go back and watch like my original series. Hey, we finally got the light bulb recipe. Where's that? Right at the bottom. Here we go. Craft that. Can we make the bloody flashlight now? Uh, we don't have a battery. Okay, that's easy enough to get. I just want to see if the flashlight looks cool in the dark. It's also about to turn nighttime like any second. I can tell. It's been a really long time. There you go. Thanks for that. My heart is already pretty much fucked up. 
And great, my least favourite thing in the world, staff, bumbling about in the darkness. We don't really need the flashlight to be fair. Night sight is so good. Yeah, he's angry. Yep, I can't do anything about that, mate, because you are unstoppable. You know what, I'm just gonna make a crowbar. Give me that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally cave your bloody stupid fleshy face in. Yeah, see? They really need, like, swinging sound effects for the weapons because it's just, like, you're gently tapping them with a crowbar and they just eat shit, I suppose. The store has closed. Yeah, see, I'm only, it's, it's night two and I'm already getting overwhelmed, but that's because I don't have any combat perks or health bonuses. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Goodbye. I need to find a light bulb. No, I don't. I need to find batteries so I can power my flashlight. The thing I found in this game is you infinitely find things you don't need. For example, I will find an infinite supply of cafeterias and no show, like, hardware departments, and then I'll find millions of hardware departments and no cafeterias. Because it is so bloody random, and the map is so bloody big. Not quite infinite, which is just lies. God, can you imagine if it was infinite? Just how impossible it would be to, like, do anything. I would be s devastated. I get lost in this map, and this is their normal size. Oh my lord, is this- it is, it's a hardware department. Ah, oh, you've- Persevere and you find what you want. Christ, right, flashlight, help me find some batteries. Because they're rare, elusive, and I swear to God they're impossible to see sometimes. Now, I kind of do like the fog sort of styling for the flashlight, but... Or for the torch on your phone, at least, but... God damn, is it hard to see sometimes. Where you're directly looking, it's really foggy. Maybe make that look at the floor or something? I don't know. I'm not a game developer. Hello, batteries. How many batteries is that? Three. Nice. Okay. Crafting. Flashlight. We did it. Flashlight. Equip. Oh, there we go. That looks a lot more realistic than it did before. It's not just a laser beam of perfect light. And it flickers. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. This is gnarly, man. Get rid of the HUD. Fucking realistic mode. Look at that. You want to play 3008 on hardcore mode? There you go. This is what it'd be like. Awesome. But with things not working out and recipes not really working like the, well all the traps don't work everything else seems to work fine but hopefully the next update that'll be fixed if you have got to this point make sure you leave a like subscribe but anyway thank you guys for watching and i will see you very soon for another video toodaloos hey thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed remember thank you to monster legends for helping sponsor the video and supplying my tea money if you want to download the game feel free to go down to the description and check it out. Make sure you use the link, otherwise you're not giving me that tea.